Nicholas A. Cray on Facebook. At the beginning of the You Took the Words Right Out of My Mouth video, you did, what did you mean by on a hot summer night would you offer your throat to the wolf with the red roses? I what have does no that idea. mean? You have no idea. <laughs> no, I don't know. Nobody knows. It's just poetic. Was that a marijuana night? Or no, it wasn't just... a marijuana <laughs> It may have been for Jim, not uh, for me. Okay. <laughs> John Davis on Facebook said, I saw an episode of Sci-Fi Channel's Ghost Hunters where you went on investigation. What interests you about the paranormal? Well, the, I, I actually saw a ghost in, uh, oh, I've seen several now. Because um, we were talking about Bon Jovi a second ago. But I saw a ghost when we were shooting, uh, when we were uh, recording Bad Out of Hell. And it looked like a real person. It just looked like if somebody came across this room, walked across, you'd go, there's a person walking across. And she walked across the balcony. She was in white. She was a blonde teenager. And I went downstairs. and said, one of Todd Rundgren's groupies down there. And they go, why don't you get up there? And I go, well, I don't know. Came up the back stairs. And they said, there's no back stairs. I said, well, there's a girl up there. Everybody went up there. There's nobody up so there. So you questioned it. And then, then I was at a hotel in London called The Landmark. At about 6.30 in the morning, I, I woke up. I kind of rolled over. And there was kind of a, a guy passing through the room, and I, I said something to him, but he didn't acknowledge me, which means he wasn't an intelligent haunting. And then, we were talking about John, John had said to me, uh, Bon Jovi, he had checked into this hotel in Scotland, and he, the whole band checked out in the middle of the night. So when I found that out, I went to that hotel. They saw a ghost? I guess they saw something. So I said, I want John Bon Jovi's room when he was here. So I went up there. I got nothing. I was really disappointed. So Ghost Hunters, I, I, there's been some things happen on Ghost Hunters when I've been on that they've never had happen before. So I love Ghost Hunters. John DePrado on Facebook. Is a movie among your plans? Oh, yeah, I actually forgot. We, I have one uh, that's actually at the South by Southwest this year. Gina Gray on Facebook. Do you have any input into the designs of your jackets that you wear on stage? And where do you get the inspiration from? Oh, yeah, I have all the, uh, yeah, I have all input on the designs. The, the girl who has done them, uh, uh, you know, they always give you like a choice of three different designs, and then I go from there, and I go, well, look, let's add this rose here, let's do that. I mean, but basically, I get people that know more than I do about all, everything. If you do a duets album, who'd you like to work with? Would you consider Engelbert Humperdinck? Yeah, why not? I'm gonna. We we want to do a a Christmas duet, which we've got kind of pencil in, and Garth is said he would do it, and Reba said she would do something, and and Julia Julia Armand has said she. About Humperdinck. It. Yeah. He's good. Yeah. Facebook user Ricky Mark. Martin is who I, I want. Ricky Martin and my I daughter. Yeah. Facebook user Mark Webster asks, "Bad Out of Hell was your signature album, a rock and roll classic." Is there another album or a song by another artist you've heard and said, I wish I had done that? Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, Hotel, uh, the song Hotel California, written by Don Henley. Great song. Oh, it's, see, because, you know, with things where, because I've never read where Don has ever said what the song was about, and it allows you to be in that hotel and imagine your own room and whatever. Chris Waney on Facebook, favorite tour play, favorite place you toured? Well, I love New York, uh, but I'll tell you the two, the two places that were amazing to tour were Berlin before the wall went down and like 19, because West Berlin, West Berlin. Yeah. Before the wall went down because, and, and Belfast when it was still in the there's early eighties and seventies, because those people came to a show and acted like they didn't know if they were going to live tomorrow. So they just went completely crazy. So those two audiences I knew about. Wow. That, that's great. I got K. Kosi 80 via Twitter. Is there a possibility of another Bat Out of Hell album? The, uh, no. We always knew there would only be three Bat Out of Hells, but Jim Stein and I are working again on this record. He's, we've got, uh, I've got four songs now, and, and I'm, and, he's, and he wrote me two days ago, I'm working on another one. So 
It's, we could have five. And then the others are writers that I've relied on, uh, Rick uh, Brantley, Sean McConnell, and uh, Barry Dean, and James, the guy named James Michael. Liesl Smith on Twitter wants to know, what's the one thing you wouldn't do for love? Um, I don't know. If my, if my wife, whatever my wife, listen, trust me. Uh, anybody that's in a relationship, I'm look right at the camera and say this. Anybody that's in a relationship, just remember this. If you're a man, the woman is always right, so you'll do anything. Correct. <laughs> and my other tip is, when you get up in the morning, just turn over and say, I'm sorry. <laughs> It'll cover yesterday and whatever occurs that day. Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday through Thursday, on demand on Hulu and Aura.tv.